Hey guys, what's up? So last week you really seemed to uh, like the snapping turtle highlight video from uh, herping of last year. So it only makes sense to follow up a common snapping turtle video with an alligator snapping turtle video. So that's what this one is. These are gonna be some of my favorite alligator snapping turtle finds from 2020. Uh, 2020 was a pretty good year. We found a lot of stuff. Uh, started off the year with a small hatchling and a small tributary. It's a really good place to start the year off because I usually get one there uh, pretty early in the spring and you know hopefully will again this year. All right so I stopped for a moment to take a drink of water and I looked down at my feet and my feet are there. Can you see what is sitting right here? All right here it is my first alligator snapping turtle of the year. This is uh, last year's hatchling. Um, this guy was just sitting here right by this uh, old coke can and I mean you can see just how well they blend in you know with the, the habitat that they're in and they you know the way their shell and their skin is just totally and completely made to absorb uh, the surrounding algae and mud and everything and it just makes them just perfectly hidden and you know this area right here this is near where they nest so there's probably dozens of these guys all around me and I would never even know it just because of how well they can hide. And you know, the reason I see this guy is because he's actually on the move. Uh, normally he would probably be sitting next to something. Um, so that's really cool. And just what a perfect little guy. Let's pick him up, take a look at him. There he goes. Defensive behavior, rolls his tail up, closes his eyes and wishes I would go away. And you can see these guys just like miniature versions of the adults. Really, really cool to see. He's got a kind of a funny face. I like that he just closes his eyes. Oh, there we go, there's his eye. What a perfect little baby alligator snapping turtle. It just doesn't get any better than that. You know, this will make my whole day. I find, you know, I find a lot and you know, there's been times where I've found, you know, pretty obnoxious numbers of these guys, but to me it just there's nothing better than just finding a little baby it's it's so good to know that they're out here and they're reproducing and you know that these little guys are crawling around and doing their thing it's it's really awesome and just such a perfect little baby alligator snapping turtle nice little guy so gonna let him go right here next to his coke can and uh, we'll see if we can find look I'm willing to bet that little spot right there is probably where he was hiding so we'll see if we can find any more. Um, otherwise, we go to a new spot, see if we can find some other types of turtles. Now, I was looking over here and you can see some tail drags and some footprints going along this uh, shallow area. So it does look like uh, there is some juvenile, you know, probably five to six inch alligator snappers that have kind of walked around in here and been foraging. Uh, these guys get really active at night. Uh, there's like kind of a lot of misconceptions that they sit around and all they ever do is is wiggle their lure which they do when they're young but at night all ages will kind of run around and um, forage for food so heavily nocturnal turtles and uh wow couldn't be happier first alligator snapper of the year filming for the world turtle day video was fun because i was trying to every single day cram in as many spots as i could coming down to the wire uh last minute for that video i was like my last filming day before i spend the next day editing by myself it was late at night and came across uh that female and uh, turned out she was gravid so that was a really awesome find i mean anytime you find those guys at night it's always awesome when your flashlight hits them that was one reason why like once i figured out she was gravid it was better just to let her go let her go do her thing she went and laid her eggs and you know now there's going to be more a little alligator snapping turtles in that stream which just makes me super happy i'm gonna get some pictures of him 
beautiful alligator snapping turtle. Look at that. Beautiful turtle. Uh, what I like about these guys and uh, one of the things that makes them so special here is these guys just have huge bulky heads uh, because they eat a lot of mollusks. And you can see just the skull is just so built up, just so much muscular back, musculature back here. And just the bone is thicker. And they got these plates in the bottom jaw. You can see those plates in the bottom jaw there. They fit up against plates in the upper jaw. And those are for consuming mollusks and crushing them up. And then the ones here have super marginals, but they're basically barely there. So that's another way to tell the ones from this drainage is uh, they don't really have well-developed super marginals like other alligator snapping turtles. Uh, the smaller tail and the overall build of this turtle actually tells me this is most likely a female um, as a male would have like a much thicker tail uh, the shell kind of has an overall different shape with the males uh, males tend to have a more kind of tapered snout whereas this one has kind of a shorter blunter face and snout so most likely this one is a female i'm kind of by myself so it's hard to get a really good examination of this turtle um, by myself out here so I was getting uh, just a few more shots of her, and then we're gonna let her go. All right, yeah, just to confirm that this is a female, I uh, palpated the area underneath her legs, and uh, this, this turtle is actually full of eggs. So I don't wanna cause her any more stress. I'm gonna get her back to the water uh, so that she can lay those eggs in the next few days. So um, yeah, this is, this is really incredible. Uh, to find a gravid female alligator snapping turtle is, is really something special. So I don't want to bother her anymore, so I'm going to let her go. All right, so here we go, releasing this female back into the creek. Like I said, I hope she just, you know, goes on to, to lay those eggs. Yeah, just I'm super excited, super stoked. Um, just such a beautiful turtle, too. I mean... You know a lot of brown but there's a lot of like peachy colors and kind of light yellow colors and stuff in the jaws and in some of the parts of the face and just really awesome uh following that was something that i, I didn't really think was even going to happen it was on a whim it was world turtle day the official world turtle day and i made a drive south to meet my buddy jay and jay has a youtube channel getting lost with jay york at any rate, me and Jay had caught um, small alligator snapping turtles before. All right, hatchling alligator snapping turtle. Uh, this little fellow was scooting across the bottom. Jay was on the other side of the river catching a loggerhead. And uh, <laughs> I saw this guy at the exact same time. So we had like a kind of a dual capture. So neat. This guy's probably a last year's hatch. Probably hatched out late September, early October. And has got pretty good growth on for, uh, for being such a young turtle. So... Uh, we're gonna shoot some photos of this guy later and then let him go but always awesome to see him when they're this small just like little miniature versions of the adults and you know we both really wanted to see an adult and down where jay lives it's the sewanee alligator snapping turtle one of the recently described species so it was a really big deal to go down there and pursue that goal due to a really good tip from jay's buddy he said he had seen one the day before when he was fishing and he met up with us and led us to the exact spot. We walked upstream maybe 20 yards and Jay spotted her just sitting at the base of a tree uh, right as I was about to come around the base of the tree. So we all kind of walked up on her at once and she was just sitting right there. They did it. We were walking this creek where, uh, what's your name? Colton. Colton had spotted this turtle earlier. Uh, you said yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, yeah. last night. So we came here on a whim and uh, somehow found what's most likely the same turtle. It's a really old female Sewanee alligator snapper. She's gonna try and get a piece of my phone. And it was, well, I mean, but then again, it was under the water, so. Well, I know. I can't be sure, but. I know after you saw it, you, you texted me that the, the ridges were pretty smooth. Yeah, they were pretty smooth. And I also don't remember that, those scars on top, so. I mean, I don't want to get your hopes up. There you go. That's awesome. Got some weight to them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, throughout the summer, I would go to some of my more regular streams and, you know, I brought like uh, a couple of buddies with me, uh, my friend Nature with Gabe, and we had filmed uh, a few individuals in one night. They were all out foraging for corbicula. And so we were able to get some shots of them and, and kind of appreciate them in the wild, you know, doing their thing. And that always feels great. All right, well, that apparently panned out. Uh, we got this male first, found him foraging on the bottom, and then this young female right here, and a really, really pretty turtle. Actually, not young. She's probably 30, 40 years old. And then Gabe went and got this one. So, yeah, three alligator snapping turtles in uh, one night. So this female I've caught before last year, and then this female over here I've never seen before but uh, really, really cool. Uh, got to see all three of these turtles all feeding at the same time. Just this particular alligator snapping turtle so cool is they're just feeding on mollusks and kind of doing something they don't really do in most of their range. So good night here doing alligator snappers. Please don't bite my foot, sir. And he's just gonna kind of mosey around down there in the water. And those are just, just some cool looking turtles. I mean, I don't know if it gets any better than that. They look way better than they look in any zoo or captive collection. I mean, those are some happy turtles. Good sized male. <laughs> and just go right by my feet. I guess you need a sense of scale. That's my foot. But yeah. It's a big, big turtle. I love seeing them at this size and this age, seeing how they move through the water. They're actually pretty, uh, pretty delicate the way they move through the water. And into the dark. All right, so I got really lucky and happened to see a turtle with his nose up. And it was this juvenile alligator snapping turtle. And kind of saw his nose up and told Gabe to run over and get, get a look at it. And there was a brief a uh, moment where I thought I lost him and then he started taking off across the bottom. And so now we're gonna film and take some photos with this guy. And about an eight year old alligator snapping turtle, probably six or seven inch shell, but just a really pretty turtle. It's got lots of color and the uh, pattern on his skin and uh, just a really cool looking alligator snapping turtle. So I'm always stoked to see the little ones. Hey buddy, it's great knowing you. Uh, and then later in the summer, probably one of my more favored memories is just the fact that one night I went just by myself down to like one of my favorite spots and I walk down to the water and as soon as I turn my flashlight on the first thing it hit is a big male that I find every single year. He was just sitting there foraging doing his thing and you know that video was really fun because it was just just time spent just time spent you know enjoying him and appreciating him and letting him do his own thing and watching the way he moves and um, not bothering him or picking him up or really touching him at all so um, that's kind of my favorite. I think that just because you go harping or you go looking for things doesn't mean you always need to pick them up and handle them or harass them. Um, sometimes it's nice just to let them do their thing and, and 
be a part of it, be a part of that moment. So uh, that was definitely a highlight. Hopefully not disturb it too much. This is the guy that I catch just about every year when I come here. He came upstream to feed on some mollusks. It's really, really, um, these days where it gets just super hot like this, these guys come out to feed in the night. And this is honestly probably the earliest I've ever caught this guy out feeding. Um, and you can see he's just a, just a big old, big old turtle. But yeah, I catch this guy every single year. And this is actually the first time this year that I have caught him out moving around. So to be honest, I may uh, just, just leave him here like this and let him kind of do his thing. Just wanted to get some good parting shots, kind of show some detail. Like I said, that shell is just completely beautiful. I mean, it, you know, back here towards the rear has a lot of buildup on it, but right here where he's been like wearing it down, going underneath the bank, I mean, you can just see it just almost has like that tortoise shell look. And I mean, really hard not to notice that bright yellow head. Um, a lot of people think it's a hypo or a leuchistic, but no. And, and these guys in this population, it's just normal. It's normal for them to kind of take on that light coloration. And you can see the prehensile tail. These guys can actually use their tail to hang on to things. And you can see all the little bites he has on there. So he does run into other males and the males will bite each other's tails. That's a pretty common behavior. Not aggressive. Not a mean animal at all, just an animal that wants to keep going about his business. Uh, I don't want to disturb him too much. So we'll just let him kind of go off into, into the dark. But really cool to watch this guy just disappear back into the creek. So those are some of my favorite moments with alligator snapping turtles from 2020. Uh, for an otherwise lousy year, those were some amazing moments and I'm excited to see what 2021 is going to bring. Thank you guys for watching these videos. As always, field herping videos every Friday. I'll see you next week. Take care. Peace. All right, so Grover and I were snorkeling and uh, I kind of came along the edge of a tree. The bottom looked just right. It looked like something had been there and uh, kind of came along, saw these three keels sticking out underneath a log. Kind of came up, I told Grover, I was like, dude, there's one right here. Such an awesome Western alligator snapping turtle here in Mississippi. Turtle, check that out. How cool is that? Such an amazing turtle.